Hello. Today we're going to be talking about third-party software connectivity with Win for K3 Suite. Win for K3 Suite has built-in virtual serial ports for connecting up to four third-party software or hardware products such as DX Labs Commander, N1MM, or any hardware devices such as antenna tuners that uses the Kenwood CAT protocol. Now we can take a look at basically how this works. Here we have a block diagram of Win for K3 Suite. We have the control program, we have a memory based radio status section, and then we have four channels that can communicate with other products. So now Win for K3 Suite, of course, is continuously polling your K3, KX3, or K2 to obtain information such as frequency, band, mode, volume, and so forth. And as it does this, it's putting it all of the status information into memory. This information is then available for any other application that needs to use it so that without them physically having to have a connection to the serial port on the radio. So the way that is done is that Win for K3 Suite provides four ports. They're called the auxiliary cat ports and they ag act exactly like an Elecraft radio. To connect to one of these ports, you only have to tell your third-party software that you're connecting to a K3, KX3, or K2, and give them the COM port number. So the concept is very, very simple. However, we do have to rely on a third-party utility that will create these links between the different products, third-party products, and the channels on Win for K3 Suite. This software this, third, this free utility is something that can create COM port pairs that basically act like null modem cables between the various software and hardware and win for key 3s auxiliary CAT ports. Now, there are various versions of virtual port pair software out there, but the one that I recommend is COM0COM. This can be found, there is a link in the win for k 3 suite documentation under documentation, third-party integration. So go on over to va2fsq.com, click on documentation, third-party integration, and then there will be a little another link here for other software. Please click here. So I'm going to click on that and it's basically giving a description of what I've just told you and it, it's just a complete write-up here. However, the link is given right here. This is the link for the version of COM0COM that I recommend as a virtual serial port uh, software. Okay, so basically you're going to download this. There's two versions, one for 32-bit software, 32-bit Windows, and another for 64-bit Windows. Okay, make sure that you use this one and not one from a different site because this is the only one that is signed. It's a signed driver. Okay, so once you've downloaded that and then run the setup program, that will install it on your computer. Then you're going to want to create some pairs. So if I go into my start menu and move down to COM0COM, what we will see is in there we will have a setup program you also have a command prompt setup, but you don't want to use that. You want to use setup. So I'm just going to click on that. And what will pop up is something that looks like this. Now, it looks scary, but it's very, very simple. The first thing that happens once you've installed it is it's going to create a pair for you, a pair of serial ports, but it's going to give some weird names, CNC, A0, etc. And that's because it doesn't know offhand what the serial port numbers are currently are in your system. So what we want to do now is make a pair and to make this pair basically we're going to be renaming this pair. All we have to do is change the name of these. So what you're going to need to know is what serial ports are in use on your system because you do not want to use those. So I'm going to create a pair right now and I know that COM, COM 14 and COM15 are not used 
on my system. Okay, so basically I'm just renaming this. I'm going to go apply, and there we go. Now if I need to add another one, I would just go add pair, and it's going to come up and do the same thing over again. So I'm going to go com16 and com17. I'm going to go apply. So now I have two pairs of COM ports, a virtual port pair 0 comprised of COM14 and COM15 and another one composed of COM16 and COM17. That's all I need to do with COM0COM. Of course if I want to connect two more applications up I would create two more pairs like that. Okay. So now I'm going to close this down and I'm going to open win for k 3 suite Okay, now I'm going to start up win for k 3 suite You'll notice that I have opened up the configuration setup for COM0COM just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now when I open up win for k 3 suite I'm going to want to go into Tools, Settings, and then along the top here you have a number of tabs. I'm going to go to third party software and hardware and here you can see the four ports that I'm talking about. The auxiliary cap port 1, port 2, port 3 and port 4. So the idea is that for every piece of software that I'm going to want to connect to I'm going to want to put one of these COM ports that you see right here and put them in the auxiliary cat port up there and connect to it. So for the first one I'm going to choose COM15. So if I come up here and I connect to COM15 and click connect, one half of the pair is connected. Now from this point forward anytime I want to connect to a KX3 because I'm connected to the KX3 in this particular screen I am just going to tell the third-party software that I have an Elecraft KX3 and it's connected to COM14. That is where I have to connect. Very simple. So while I'm here, I'm also going to put in the other one, the other pair, COM17, connect, and that's it. I'm going to click on Save. Now, I'm going to open this up again just so you can see what's going on. Settings. Okay, now I'm going to want to connect up DX Labs Commander. So I'm going to call it up from my start menu. I'm going to go up to where we have DX Lab Suite and pick Commander. Now I've set this up so that it's not connected to anything. Okay, so you'll see that the frequency is not in synchronization. So I'm going to click on Config. And in the General tab, I am going to pick a radio. So I'm going to pick the KX3. Now one thing that I normally do is I set the command interval to be a little higher than the default of 200 milliseconds. You don't really need it because win for k 3 Suite itself will be showing all the frequency and, and all of the status of the radio and doing the polling. There's no need to pull too quickly there. Now I'm going to go into Ports and I'm going to pick the other COM port of the COM port pair. So this one's COM15, it's right here as you can see in the COM0 COM, and it's connected to COM14. So up here I'm going to put in COM14, and that's it, nothing more. So from the point of view, as you can see, it's already synchronized. From the point of view of DX Labs Commander, it's just connecting, like always, to a serial port to a KX3 and that's all you need to do. Very very simple. If I take a look at win for k 3 you'll see that everything's synchronized. If I change the band this will follow suit. If I change modes this will follow as well. I'll change to CW. Now the thing of course if you want you can click come into here and you can actually change things on this side and you'll notice that they change in Win4K3 Suite as well. So you have full bidirectional communications and full synchronization of the data between the two of them. Now, since Commander uh, also works with all of the other products from DX Labs, all of the other products such as spotting programs, logging, and so forth will continue to work.
So let's do this again, this time for N1MM+. So I'm going to open up N1MM+, which is right here, logging software, logger. Okay, this is going to open up. And again, we're going to config, and we'll configure the ports. Okay, this will open up the hardware tab. I'm going to move these around a little bit. And I'm going to open this up just for reference. Now, the other pair was COM port 17 and COM port 16. So I'm connecting to COM 17 in win for k 3 suite. So in N1MM, I'm going to want to connect to COM 16. That's the other pair of the port. The radio is going to be a KX3. Uh, where did that go? There we go. Elecraft KX3. And it's already set all of the parameters like you need it to be. So I'm just going to click on OK. And that's it. And you'll see it's already synced. It's in full synchronization. I can change bands. N1MM Plus follows along without an issue. Well, basically, there you have it. The only thing I can add to this is that these third-party products, you have to make sure to use software push-to-talk control. That applies to any of the packages that are out there. They all work with this, and that's it. So very, very simple. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much.